Rev up your engines! Welcome to Mechanic Monday, where today I'm going to show you how you can fight the evil forces of nature that can ruin your car's paint. Like birds crapping on your car! Now you can try to get your cat to lick it clean, but odds are that'll never happen. I've been using this Goo Gone for automotive use for years. Heck, the company's not even paying me anything for this. I just know it's a good product that works. Because when you want to remove crud from your car's paint, you don't want to destroy the paint, you don't want to create scratches, and you certainly don't want to create any future problems that's going to make the paint come off. And of course you want to do it as soon as possible, because the bird crap contains a lot of acid, and it gets real hard, bakes onto your paint, and will actually eat holes in it. So you want to do it as soon as you see it, whenever possible. That's why I keep a bottle of stuff in my wife's trunk. I don't want to mess up the paint on this Lexus. And the first thing you have to realize is, you don't want to use paper towels. They're kind of abrasive. They can actually put micro scratches on your paint. You want a good microfiber towel, these things are getting cheaper and cheaper, they won't scratch anything. And you want to put the goo gone liberally all over the area, and let it soak for a few minutes. Now you don't want to do this in the direct sun, and today's a perfect day, because look, it's cloudy as can be, it's nice and gray, you won't get any sun's heat to do any kind of damage to anything. Because just as a general rule of thumb, don't do any kind of cleaning on a hot sunny day. If it is hot and sunny, park under a tree or do it inside your garage. Now once it's soaked in, just start rubbing. In the case of this bird crap, boy, it didn't take much to get it off. And here we go, the crud comes off on the towel, not on your hand. Then when you got it off, just clean the area off with soap and water, and heck, this thing's so dirty. I just watched the whole thing. I've seen guys scratching at the bird crap with their fingernails and all kinds of rough scrubbing thing. That'll ruin your paint. This stuff will make it come off like butter. But what really sold me on the Goo Gone in the first place is my wife's Lexus and this Chinese tree of life that it's parked under. Now it's a beautiful tree, you don't want to cut it down, and it's healthy as can be, as you can see by all these seeds that it's creating. But the thing puts out a ton of sap, and before I'd noticed it, the sap was on there in little places, and it got almost as hard as amber. It was like a rock, and I couldn't figure out how to get it off. I mean, look at the stuff. It's hard as can be, and I don't want to ruin the paint getting it off. Now granted, this was a lot harder to get off. I had to soak the stuff, and in this case, I let it sit for almost half an hour. Then I started to rub, and tiny little pieces would come off, but little by little, I kept putting it on and rubbing it off. And finally, after about 45 minutes of rubbing, it all came off. When I found this stuff would take hardened tree sap from the hot Texas sun that had baked it on off without doing any damage to the paint, I was sold. And I keep a can of this stuff in all my cars just in case some crud happens when we're on a trip somewhere. I can get it off fast, then it's a lot easier and quicker. Because if you see it when you're on a trip, the faster you get it off, the less you're going to have any damage done at all, especially with stuff like tar behind the wheel wells. One time we were driving down the road and we couldn't avoid it, we had to run over a pail of paint, and there was white paint all over the place. I got out with the stuff and I wiped it off real fast. Looks good as new. Stuff's amazing. And since this is Mechanic Monday, I'm giving away a bottle of this stuff. Just post a clean, non-offensive comment on the YouTube comments below, and a winner will be picked randomly by a computer. So if you never want to miss another one of my new car repair videos, remember to ring that bell.